got some moths. It looks a little bit cursed right now. I decided to just do the backpack and the hat. Look at how pretty the green with the gray is. Hi everyone, my name is Bria. It's almost Monday according to the clock, but welcome back to another video if you're a returning viewer. And if you're new here, hi! So, I have a market this Saturday. I get to prepare for that this week. Not that I haven't been preparing. I, I just get to more directly prepare for it. Like, you know, do my table setup and all that. And price stuff. No, price tag. Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff I have made that I need to price or price tag or both. So, <laughs> and then I also need to do my mock setup this week. It's going to be a six foot table. It's an indoor event and the space is like seven foot wide. So I'm bringing my six foot table, but my last event was an eight foot table. And so therefore I need to figure out how to do the size change. <laughs> yeah, I I'm excited. I haven't had a market in a while. How long has it been? About a month. I'll be working on that this week. So if that's interesting to you, stick around. So I was thinking about trying to start my mock market setup. Unfortunately, the six foot table is being used as a puzzle table right now. So I need to wait for that to be finished and I can seal it back. So maybe later today, but obviously not right now. I think I'm gonna instead start pricing some stuff. Also, I need to look around and see if there's anything I can use to hang up plants, crocheted plants. I was thinking about maybe trying to sell them at this market. I've never sold plants before, but I'm thinking since I, I've just made so many and I was originally just making them for myself, but I've kind of gone overboard and now I have too many. So now I'm thinking of selling a few. Yeah, the issue is, is how I'm going to display them because they need to be hung up. And I don't currently have anything to do that. I'll have to think about it. I think right now I'm going to take photographs of stuff from the past couple of weeks that I've made. I need photographs taken before I put them in my stock bin. Which means I need the camera. <laughs> so I'll see you in a bit. I just finished the photo taking. Here's a pile of stuff. Got some moths, some butterfly fish, goose, bunch of cats, and two brontos. Not a lot of stuff this time, but still took a little bit of time. Do you remember a few weeks ago when I showed you this box of polyfill that I've been keeping my inventory in? Well, it's full now. <laughs> it is completely full. I mean, I could squish it down, but it it's, it's full. This is, I believe, all of the stuff I've made in the past like month or so that I need to tag an inventory and price some of it. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot. <laughs> I just went through and inventoried everything that was in that box into my square app. I was going to price tag them, but I decided to wait until after the table was set up so that I could figure out what was getting signs and what was getting actual paper tags. Do you ever forget that you made something? Because I do. I was going through the box, I found this burger turtle. <laughs> this is a all from Jade pattern. The, well, the base pattern turtle. And then the mod is also all from Jade. And the mod comes with like all kinds of different foods. And I forgot I made it. So I don't know what to do right now. I could make some more fish. Not the butterfly fish. The it's called Finley the fish. It's a free pattern on Instagram by looks underscore hooks. But do I want to make it enough right now? Not really. What I really want to do is set up the table. I really should just go to sleep and do stuff in the morning. I'm not tired, which is a problem. I might just update you tomorrow, 
when the hiker animal pattern gets released. I mentioned it in my last video, but I'm really, really excited for those. I'll see you later. I lied. I actually decided to work on a pattern that I've been wanting to get for a while. It's this one right here. Ignore the fact that I'm always just filming my screen. But yeah, I'm gonna work on that. I don't know if I'll finish, but I'm gonna work on it. four legs. It took me about half an hour. I don't know. I, I've been trying to figure out if I'm a fast or slow crocheter and I keep jumping back and forth between being fast and slow in my mind. So I have no idea. <laughs> but I got them done. I forgot to update sooner. So <laughs> here's the update. I'm getting closer to being done. It looks a little bit cursed right now. But I finished the main piece. I still need to do the ears, the tail, the antlers, and the muzzle. I finished. It's so precious. Look at it. I kind of want to keep it, but I made it for markets. So, off to the side. It's Monday. The solar eclipse is today. I was just outside with the glasses looking at that. Also, today is the release day for the hiking animals. So I got the pattern bundle. They're so cute. I need to start working on them. This is what the listing looks like. It's so cute. I'm gonna start working on that. Um, I think I'm gonna make Maisie the mouse first. so cute. Ignore my truly hideous headphones with tape on them, but look! <laughs> it's got a tail. It's so cute. It has a snuggler style body, so it's not stuffed. But I think it's really cute. I need, now I need to decide what type of accessories I want to give it, because there's a few different options. Like binoculars, a mushroom bag, a vest, a sleeping bag backpack. I think I'm gonna do that one. And a hat that looks like a little acorn. I, I'm thinking probably the backpack and the hat, but I might do the vest too. Yeah. <laughs> I finished. Look. Look how precious it is. I decided to just do the backpack and the hat. It's so cute. And here, you can take the backpack off. And it's got a button holding it together. And you undo the button. It turns into a sleeping bag. And Maisie sleeps in the sleeping bag. <laughs> so cute. I, I, I want to make the rest of them. This was just a bit of a longer project. So I'll have to see when I can do more. But it's adorable. I'm keeping this one. That's for sure. Ignore my wet hair. But I wanted to update you on what I've been working on. You, you might be able to see it in the background. My craft room is an absolute catastrophe right now because I'm doing my mock table set up for the craft fair this Saturday. There's a few things I need to, well more than a few things. There's stuff I still need to do. There's stuff that needs to be tagged and I 
also want to change the color of the paper that I'm using for my signs. I don't have a fancy printer, <laughs> so I've just been writing out all my prices and what the things are on sticky notes. And if it's a one-off thing or like a couple of things that aren't big enough, that don't have enough things to merit a sign, I just add a tag and write it on there. But currently, let me show you. Here's what the table setup is looking like. Ignore the bins, but yeah. As you can see, all my little price sticky notes are green right now, and I feel like it's clashing with my green tablecloth. So I wanted to switch them all over to the white sticky notes that I found recently. That's just gonna take a little while, so I need to do that. I moved the bins. <laughs> now you can actually see everything. But yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a pain, especially for these ones, which are the veggie toys, which I have an explanation on them, which I have to hand write each time. <laughs> Hopefully the camera's not too wobbly, but this is what it's looking like. I know it's hard to distinguish between the table <laughs> and my shelves in the background because they're also colorful, but yeah. Here's the top shelf. Here's the middle shelf and the bottom shelf. And then a bunch of baskets. And then my other shelving unit. Yeah, but I keep all my fidget toy stuff in the middle here, just so that they're all together and they're front and center. But as I said before, I need to tag a bunch of stuff like this turtle duck and the fox, the rosy maple moth, all those brontos. I need to switch all over all the sign colors. Yeah, I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But all of the sticky notes are white now. Now I need to tag all the stuff that needs to be tagged. That might take a little while because I have to do the geese. I have to do that turtle, the bees. What else? <laughs> Oh, the Brontos and a couple of things up there. Actually, wait, that's not as many as I thought it was. But the real issue here is my restock stuff. Oh, in this bin. Yeah. Oh, and this bag. Those two. Hey, it's Tuesday. I was out most of the day. But like the type of being out that I could sit and do a bunch of stuff. So I made the bear. It's part of the same pattern pack as the hiking mouse. And I made him a little vest. I, I need to make all the accessories. They're super cute. I like the green with the brown. It's really pretty. Also, for this one, I decided to make the arms crocheted in instead of sewn on. I also made the little tail a bobble stitch instead of sewed on later. My um, market display table is still up. There's still... I haven't made any more progress on that since last time. It's kind of just sitting in the middle of my room, taking up a lot of space. And my yarn wall is behind it. I have to like squeeze between one of my other shelves and the table to get to my yarn wall, which is tragic. Okay. After like an hour, I finally decided that I'm going to make a cat with this. It's um the baby blanket in the color Little Sandcastles. to figure out a better lighting solution for nighttime because it's pretty not well lit <laughs> but I finished the cat I, I decided to use brown cotton for the embroidery 
It's super cute. I like this variegated brown color. I don't use it as often as I could, but it's super cute. Today's Wednesday. Today's been a bit interesting. I've, I had to go back into the city. So I was out again all day, but I did get some yarn. First, I've been looking for kind of a fluffier green yarn to use as moss for some of my projects. I got this one. It is from Fabric Land. It's a size 5 bulky. It's the color Forest. It's Taylor Yarn Snuggle Baby. It's 100% polyester as well. Next one is this one. It's like a variegated green white. It's the Loops and Threads Bulky Twist in the color Go Green Multi. It's a 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. It's also a size 5. Usually I use size 4 for plants, but I wanted to try this one. I thought it would be fun. I got two skeins of this. I also got something I needed to restock on. It's the Burnett Blanket in the color Beach Foam. Another fun one that I've been wanting to try is this one. It's called Misty Green. It's kind of like a bluish though, or like a bluish green. So another fun thing that happened today, something I found out once I got home was that Crochet by Jenna released a new No So Dragon pattern a day early. I've been keeping tabs on this for a little while just because I'm so curious. I, I've been wanting to make more dragons. Unfortunately, most of them are sewing. So the no sew one, I'm very, very excited about. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on right now. Unfortunately, a little twist has happened. I got home, started working on this, made it, decided a color scheme, a color palette and everything. I'm doing like gray, like a pale gray with greens to make it look like a mossy rock. Unfortunately, this is all the pale gray I have left. And I didn't realize I was almost out. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get more at some point. And the funny thing is, is I was literally just at the craft store today. <laughs> uh, I just didn't have it on my list. I for I didn't check it. I thought I had a bunch and I don't. So let's hope I don't run out. I'm currently making the dragon. I've got three feet done. I'm working on the fourth. We'll see if I have enough gray. It's the next day. Thursday. I finished. I still have this much left. So I wasn't in as much danger as I thought. But like look at how pretty the green with the gray is. It's so cute. It's so cute. So for the moss, I decided to use a worsted and double strand it with the yarn I bought yesterday. I might do different wing styles in the future just because these aren't my favorite favorite, but they're really cute anyway. I love how it turned out. Now I need to work on a secret tester call that I got chosen for. It's by somebody. It might be out by the time I'm releasing this video. I'm still not going to tell you what it is, but I'll link it if it is out. And if not, I'll link the creator because I can't for the life of me remember who it is right now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to work on that. You don't get to see because it's a secret. Anyway, that's all. Ignore my absolutely disastrous hair, but today is Friday. That means tomorrow is the market and my table is still up in my room, <laughs> which means I have to take it down. So I'm gonna work on that. Okay, I took the table down. I didn't time lapse it because I realized I had to take photos of things before I sold them. So no time lapse. As you can see, the table is now gone. I can put away the yarn that I've been storing over my desk because I didn't want to have to climb behind the table to put it away. <laughs> I 
it's not a lot, but it's enough that's been bothering me. So I need to put it away. Everything's packed up. It's in bins. It's the table's collapsed. I have a sticky note telling me to bring my chairs because last time I forgot to bring my chairs and I had to borrow some from my mom's work. So that was not good. I think that's all for now. I'll let you know when I make something again or I'm working on something again. I think I need to just take a break for now and do something else. Hello again. I was working on finishing editing another video and uploading it, which took forever for some reason, even though it's a shorter video. It's fine. <laughs> but that's all done now, so that's exciting. And I wanted to work on something before my market tomorrow, just to, you know, kind of chill and relax and take a break from market stress. So I was trying to decide on the color scheme. I, I wanted to make another dragon with the crochet by crochet with Jenna, crochet by Jenna. <laughs> it's terrible if I can't remember. Anyway, it's the one I made earlier in this video. <laughs> But I want to show you what options I've drawn out. These are my two options. I was trying to decide between pure white with blue accents or like a speckled white with blue and blue accents. I think I'm going to go for the second one just because it looks more spread out, exciting. It looks better. Let me know which one you would have chosen, but I'm going to go for the second one. The yarns that I'm going to be using are this one, which is Burnett Baby Blanket Frosting in the color Seaside. And then for the accent, I'm going to be using this one, which is Burnett Blanket Brights in the color Busy Blue. I think they'll look good together. Hopefully. Hi, it's way later now, but I finished the dragon. It's so pretty. I decided to do a different technique on the wings. I think it looks more like I w want the wings to look like. I need to inventory this friend, take photos and take a video. And I think I'm going to bring it to the market tomorrow. And then I'm going to go to sleep. But I'll see you tomorrow for the market if I remember to record. back from the market. It's a few hours later. I just wanted to do a little recap. So while I was there, I finished making a brown variegated cat. You saw it in the clips of the market. I don't have it with me because it's packed away. I also started making another dragon with sparkly white accents. You can't see that at all, but it's sparkly. I didn't finish that one, but that's what I was working on while I was there. I'm not going to be saying exact amounts just because I personally find that a little bit boring, but I'm going to go over some of the more broad stuff, like how much of each thing I sold and a few other things. The amount paid with card was 77%. Cash was 23%. And then for the things I sold. A marble donut, a frog, an axolotl, a snake, a hedgehog, a ferret, a cow, a fox, two cats, nine minis, and seven chickens. <laughs> so yeah, today the chickens were really popular. And the minis were also really popular. Those are like my really small little 
itty bitty items. And the chicken pattern is oak and marlow maple chicken. And then the total I made minus square fees. I'm not subtracting my table fee yet or my material costs. But overall, I made $318 about. That's Canadian, which was pretty good. I believe the market table was about $65 for a vendor fee. So the amount I made minus the table fee is about 250 ish, which is pretty good. And just in general, the market wasn't like really super, super busy. It was a consistent stream of people mostly looking. Um, and I did get a decent amount of sales, but I wasn't like blown away. A few factors that might have gone into that. Um, there were two other markets on today in different parts of the city. One of them was like a really big handmade market. Um, I did look at signing up for that one. Unfortunately, the vendor fee is very expensive. <laughs> so I did decided not to do that one this year. Um, the other one I've never heard of, but it, it was also running. And I had quite a few people come through being like, hey, I just got here from this market or that market. So that was interesting. I it maybe boosted sales a little bit. Maybe it took away from sales a little bit. I, mean, I don't know. But it was, it was fun. I talked to all the other crocheters. There was two or three other crocheters, but all of our tables are different. And I'm personally not somebody who's like competition. <laughs> no, I really like seeing everyone else's stuff. I love being like, Ooh, you use this yarn. Oh, your patterns that you used are so cute. It, I, I'm just really happy for other people when they're successful. So uh, yeah. That was my market day. I think I'm going to actually usually end the video tomorrow, but since the to, right now seems like a good wrap up point, I think I'm actually going to end the video now. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe consider liking, subscribing, commenting. <laughs> it helps me out. I, I like hearing from you guys if there's anything that you liked, like like how I set up my table, or if you want to know any patterns that I used, just ask or let me know. I will try my best to respond. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.